Hey folks, it's Kikoski here, just letting you know that I'm recording this video while recovering from COVID-19. Yep, roll badly on my disease roll did I, and while I think about it, 2nd edition is very strange with diseases. There is a save versus poison, a save versus spell, and all these other things. There isn't a save versus disease that a character has, there's just a percentile chance every time something with a chance the disease hits you inflicts a disease. Second edition is odd. The adventure must go on though, and so must the show. So, here I am recording. My voice is not at 100%, and it may not have the energy that it normally does. That's a consequence of being ill. So let us delve once more into the realms of Ravenloft. Hopefully, we'll survive. I've been to some places in my time. Places that would chill people to their very bone, but this... This is literally warning me that death awaits us if we walk into the literal mouth of this cave complex. Well, do you have any better ideas, Piotra? Well, there are probably other places in the desert we could go to first. But, uh, I can't access the place where we put the chain without something else, because that statue is not moving for anyone, and... Hmm, there was that sphinx face in the wall, but I didn't see an entrance in, so... <sighs> I suppose it is just this place. It's probably going to be full of desert trolls. We can deal with desert trolls. We have plenty of fire at our disposal. Might need more fire, just in case. We might. We'll see how we do. Let's move in, and hope that we can deal with what's inside. Let's hope it's just desert trolls. Knowing our luck, it won't be. But maybe we will be lucky this time. Even in Harakir, fortune sometimes favors the bold and the foolish. What am I saying sometimes, Piotr? Let's go. Hey folks, it's Kikoski here, and welcome back to Let's Play Ravenloft Stone Prophet. And when last we left off, we managed to defeat Senmet, and we looked at maybe giving Gerard a offhand weapon, but decided not to, because he has the amazing scimitar of speed. We are approaching this dungeon. And by approaching, I mean we have a tiny amount left, because we have sliced away through tons of desert trolls using fire. So when we go to here, if that stony visage is meant to fill me with dread at half succeeds, the mouth is the obvious entrance, but eventually the eyes above provide access as well. Good observation. Can't reach the- oh! Can't reach the eyes though! Okay, I like the music here. Let's get a flame blade going and let's go! I just need one hit from uh, Alarora. That's all I need. One hit. Yep, because you're just going to come back. And. Can I. Can you use that flame blade yet? I kind of need you to use that flame blade now. Because uh, at the moment, you're not using it. Yeah, you're just gonna keep coming back. So, uh, yeah, let's... Let's fireball. Yeah, that'll do it. That'll do it. Okay. That... That worked. That did work. I apologize that... I wasn't fast enough with my weapon. It's alright. We dealt with them. So, we are in here. And here is the... Burial Catacombs Ground Floor. We're going to be facing a lot more of them, aren't we? Oh, that we are. Okay. And we accidentally stepped outside. Okay, does Flame Blade just not work indoors? Okay, you can't use Flame Blade indoors. That... is... very weird. You'd think the game would let you use Flame Blade indoors, but no! Evidently, this is an outdoor-only spell. What a weird decision. 
Either way, we're going to have to rely on our other fire spells, of which we have many. Let's go. Mm, I see that. Me too. Ah. A fly scroll. And that is how we get to the upper levels. Indeed. Thank you, Helm of True Sight. Once again, you have been invaluable. Okay, I don't like this. That's... That's not... That's not good. It's not. We fight it anyway. Back to the abyss with you. What was that, Alorora? It was a grave elemental. An amalgamation of dead spirits. Fused together into one form of anger and death. They are poor twisted things. We did them a mercy by killing them. Is that fire I see in the distance? It is. Why is there fire in a place full of trolls that are killed by fire? I don't know, but it's a strange decision. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to kill one of them, and then we're going to kill the other one, and then you're going to fireball them both when they come back. Good plan. They won't see this coming. And they didn't. That's going to stand up, isn't it? Not yet it won't. May not stand up at all. Hopefully. Yeah, it's probably going to stand up at some point. And I'm not going to be happy when it does. Because, uh, no. That's not fun. Grave elementals are not fun. They're a grave problem. Did you see what I did there? Because cause graves... Elementals. Ah, never mind. Have a scorch to the face. And that didn't work, so I'll have a second scorch to the face in a moment. Okay! I should have only really hit you once. There we go. That'll do it. Hmm. That statue is unusual. Many things about this place are unusual. I don't like them. Let's keep looking. Carefully. There's a switch. <laughs> Opened the other way. And unleashed another troll? Mm, that shouldn't surprise us. That should be sufficient to kill it. What were you guarding? So I think the game is saying that we should actually leave and, like, come back in a bit. Ah, pits! Well, that's, uh, slightly worrying. Never a fan of pits. Oh boy! Two trolls. Let's, uh, just fireball you, shall we? That's one dead. And then we can wait for the other one to get closer. And then fireball you in the face. And then you're dead. Yeah, we're just sort of coming through this place and just fireballing everything. It's exactly what we're doing. Everything that moves, it gets a fireball. Everything. Maybe even the grave elementals will get fireballs. Uh, that's a locked door. Do we have the ability to... Yes, we do! <laughs> Hope we didn't need that key for something else, because, uh... We just bypassed uh, probably a lot of puzzle with that. We still want to go to the upper area, though. Gets the second one. You really think the third troll would reconsider? I mean, they survived! And then died immediately. So what was in here that was worth all of this? Ironic. They hate water, and yet they have it here. Maybe the previous residents were the ones that used it. Detect undead. Yeah, we already have that, and, uh... Mm, don't need that either. So this room was not that important. 
much. So we didn't really gain very much by unlocking that. Uh, there's a pit. We cannot get past that right now. Not this way anyway. What about if you move a bit further up? There's a door we can't open right now. Oh, no. No, that opened the door. There's also a troll there. We want to kill this troll. Hello! I've got an acid bolt with your name on it. That'll be just enough to get rid of you. You should not have come back, Hank Crag. I came with friends. You leave alone. No, you die. No, you die. Good comeback. Thanks. I've had practice. Right, so we can go this way and this way. Oh, is that a troll? Oh, wow, what a surprise. This is not a surprise. Have an acid bolt. I believe the acid bolts just deal more damage over time. But, uh, yeah, that's uh, another dead one. That opens that door. Ah. Now, I can't actually fight you right now because I think I'm out of spells that will hurt you. So I'm going to rest here. And you're not going to chase me for some reason. You really should have chased me. But you didn't. So I'm going to take advantage of your slowness. Also, how's our XP doing? Ooh, you've nearly gained a cleric level. Uh, you're a long way away from gaining a paladin level. But uh, you're nearly a better cleric. So, up here we go, into here, there are more trolls! Hi, how you doing? Uh, I'm gonna fire an acid bolt at you. His acid bolt just doesn't seem like a very powerful spell. Ah, uh, here's a perfect opportunity for a fireball. Was that enough to kill you as well? I don't know. Let's see. Are you gonna... Nope! Nope, that was not enough. Okay, you get an acid bolt to the face. Yeah, it's just not enough to kill you. There you go, now you're dead. Anything cool in here? Okay, there's a troll. How you doing? You're just not happy to see me. No one's happy to see me around here. I'm actually really glad that you can fireball at point-blank range. You shouldn't be able to fireball at point-blank range, but you can in this game. And I never experimented with that until recently. Hmm, another lock. Let me get that. You're very good at that. I've gotten a lot better with... Well... Oh... Disarmor for trolls! Wow, it's fearsome looking. <laughs> yes, it's fearsome. I I don't know what to say. That that's very impressive, that's what I'd say. <laughs> Ankrag like Ankrag like lots. Yes, you should, you should. Uh, that'll be very useful. Indeed. Ankrag show trolls how strong I am now. Look at that! That's like armor for a villain at the end of a campaign arc. It's amazing! His armor class was four, now it's minus one. That's really good. Also, we have a Wand of Frost, which is not very useful for us right now. Um. A two-handed sword? Is it magic? At this point in the game, you'd hope it would be. It is! It is a magic two-handed sword. What does this give you? Oh, lightning protect. Oh yeah, you can't you can't use that with the shield. Uh the composite bow is not magical. Mage Scroll of Hold Monster is just an extra casting. I mean, I don't know what the sword is. 
You know, let's actually find out what the sword is. I'm curious, what is the sword? The sword is... It's a plus three two-handed sword. Which is actually pretty good. I mean, it's nowhere near as good as the uh, Scimitar of Speed. Nothing is going to be as good as the Scimitar of Speed. Also, the Wemmick armor. If we took the Wemmick with us, um, that would be good for them. But we didn't take the Wemmick with us. So, we're just going to have to uh, remember that's there. I... Do I want to go this way right now? I want to go the other way right now. This way. Past that pit. I don't want to go in the pit, because, you know, pits. We'll go this way instead. And probably find more trolls. Or oh, the burial catacombs teleport key. That's a very good item to find. Now we can come back here whenever we like. Maybe we'll find some nice armor for me here at some point. I hope so. I'm very glad we stood just a little away from that. Me too. Fire. Oh! Well, this is awkward. Perish! Go back! Ugh. <sighs> I do not like those things. I don't think anyone does. So! Grave elementals just appear out of nowhere. Oh boy! So there's something there clearly that we cannot access. Let's go to the other side now and see what's over there. Ah, lightning! That's what's over there. Ow, my face. Well. Let's keep looking. Ah, another one of you. We can deal with it. I can most certainly... I can beat you to it. Well played. Well played. I'm learning a few of your tricks, Gerard. Okay, there's a door. And that's the door that's open. So how do I open this... I don't know. Maybe you've got to open it from the other side. Over here. That's probably my best guess. Hi! Thought you could sneak up on me, Mr. Troll. I mean, you nearly did. Flesh to dust. Stone to sand. Time buries all. Intruder, the hour of your fall has come. We keep hearing that. We do. And I don't know how to open this. I do now. <laughs> A button. I don't know what it did, though. It did something. Has it moved? It moved a pit. Was there a button by the pit? Yes, there was. Well spotted. Well, what can I say? You've been, oh! You've been learning a few things, I've been learning a few things. Right, we need to make sure our spells last here. Right. What do we have left? We have some scorches. That'll do the trick. Hopefully. Scorching you. Did that get the wall? There's one left in the corner. Shouldn't have come after us. No, it should not. But that's not going to stop it. It's not like it could do anything even if it wanted to, because we can just kill it immediately with the power of that. Potion of healing we don't need. Scroll of jump! Yeah, jump might be useful. That means you could probably, like, leap over gaps. And a key! 
Oh, it's been ages since we've had a key. Silver circle key. We will hold on to that. Oh, that we will. What else do we have? A door that leads out to here. So, somewhere there's probably a... Oh yeah, there's absolutely going to be a button over there somewhere that's going to get rid of the pit. I just need to find where that button is. Or I could, like, jump over. Oh, if jump is required, by the way, in this game, that means that you absolutely 110% need a wizard in this game. And that'd be really cruel, considering the game doesn't give you an NPC wizard. I don't know how to get rid of that pit. Wait, that's a button, right? That's a button on the other side. I just spotted a button on the other side that we used to... That would be sneaky if true. Yep. Is the pit gone? No. But it has opened the door. Hmm. I'm going to think about if we can use jump to get over that. And so, when we come back, folks, uh, Ankrag is a lot tougher looking and a lot better equipped. I wonder if that armor confers magic um, to Ankrag's melee attacks. It looks like it does. I mean, it makes carrying things probably extremely difficult because of the super extended claws, but uh, I'm not going to say no to better stuff for Ankrag. And we got fly and jump. Spells I didn't anticipate getting in this game. I wonder if they're just like set piece spells. We'll find out. And so, I'll get you next time, folks. And I'll see you then. Later.